Algebraic Expressions An algebraic expression is a mathematical expression that consists of variables, numbers, and operations. There are four important vocabulary terms we are going to learn that are going to help you with expressions. The first one is term. A term is a single number or variable, or numbers and variables multiplied together. In this expression, the terms would be negative 6x, 2x, and 3. Like terms. Like terms are terms that contain the same variables or no variables. In this expression, the like terms would be negative 6x and 2x. Coefficient. A coefficient is a number being multiplied by a variable or, as I tell my students, the number in front of the variable. In this expression, the coefficients would be negative 6 and 2. Constant. A constant is a term without a variable, or a number by itself. In this expression, the constant would be the number 3. Now that you have learned about those four vocabulary terms, I want you to identify the terms, like terms, coefficients, and constants in the expression on the screen. I would recommend you pause the video now and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. Okay, let's check it out. The terms in this expression would be negative 5x, 2x, 7, and negative 2. Note that we include the minus sign with the 2. The like terms in this expression would be negative 5x and 2x, and 7 and negative 2. The coefficients in this expression would be negative 5 and 2, because both of those numbers are in front of the variable x. And lastly, the constants. The constants in this expression would be 7 and negative 2. Evaluating algebraic expressions. Evaluating expressions means to find the value of an expression by substituting numbers in for variables. In this example, we can see that m is equal to 2. So we are going to substitute that number 2 in the expression 6 plus m. This becomes 6 plus 2. And 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Now I want you to give it a shot. Evaluate the expressions below given x is equal to 5. So there are four expressions on the screen that I want you to evaluate. I would recommend you pause the video now and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. Okay, let's take a look. Number 1, 6 plus x. After substituting, we will have 6 plus 5, which is equal to 11. Number 2, x minus 8. After substituting, we will have 5 minus 8. After applying keep change change, we will have the expression 5 plus negative 8. And 5 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 3. Number 3, 4x. After substituting, we will have 4 times 5, which is equal to 20. And number 4, negative 3x plus 10. After substituting, we will have negative 3 times 5 plus 10, which is equal to negative 5. The last topic we are going to cover in this video is writing real-world expressions. The problem reads, you rent S pairs of shoes for $5 each. Write an expression that represents the total cost of renting the shoes. We can represent this real-world situation with the expression 5S, which means $5 times the number of shoes. 
The next problem reads, you buy X plates at the store. You end up using 40% of the plates. Write an expression that represents the total plates used. It would be nice if we could just write 40% times X, but we can't keep a percent in the expression. So we must convert that 40% to a decimal by removing the percent sign and dividing by 100. 40 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.4. So our final expression would be 0.4x. And now the final example. You watch m minutes of television on Wednesday, the same amount on Thursday, and 45 minutes on Friday. The expression we can write to represent this real-world situation would be m plus m plus 45 where the first m represents the time on Wednesday, the second m represents the time on Thursday, and notice since the time was the same on Wednesday and Thursday, we can use the same variable. And finally, the 45 represents the 45 minutes on Friday. We are not done quite yet though, because we can simplify by combining like terms. In this expression, the like terms would be m and m, and m plus m is equal to 2m. So the final expression would be 2m plus 45. Now it's your turn. There are two real-world situations on the screen that I want you to write expressions for. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve those problems, and resume when you're ready to see if your answers are correct. Okay, let's check it out. The first one says, Tony is X years old. His sister is five years younger than Tony. Write an expression to represent the age of Tony's sister. We could write this as the expression X minus five. And number two, you own X number of cars. You sell 10% of the cars. Write an expression that represents the total number of cars sold. So this one is similar to the example we looked at before. And you could write this real world situation with the expression 0.1x.